Hello, my name is Suzanne Pianessa, and I am one of the parish secretaries at 14 Holy Helpers Church in West Seneca, New York. And this is the Novena to the Holy Spirit. And we are on day five of the Novena. And the gift we are praying about today is the gift of knowledge. Now, the gift of knowledge is not uh, the traditional book learned knowledge. It's actually, it's a supernatural gift. So it's a more supernatural knowledge. And there's a few different facets of the gift of knowledge. The first one is that we recognize the uh, presence of God in creation. We recognize the relationship between the creator and the created. And we see his love for us in the beauty of creation. And hence, that will make our love and praise for God grow. Also, we see the relationship between God and um, man-made things. And we either recognize the um, aid that they can give us in our journey to salvation or if they are roadblocks in our journey to salvation. Um, one such example would be like going to see St. Louis Church in downtown Buffalo. You can look at that church and appreciate the skill of the craftsmanship. Uh, the planning and um, the skill of the architect that designed it. But once you walk inside, you know you're in God's house. You know that this church wasn't just made for the architect to have a masterpiece. He made it because he loved God, because he wanted to praise God. And that comes through in the beauty of the church. Um, Sometimes it, it's a little hard to discern God in all things, but one of the tools that we have to help us grow in this gift of knowledge is the examine prayer. And um, total move by the Holy Spirit, we actually have the examine prayer in this week's bulletin. Uh, the bulletin is available online, and we do have copies outside of the church in a little mailbox on um, Indian Church Road if you want to grab a paper copy of it. And um, there's an article there about finding God in all things and about how to pray the examine. So a little homework for you. Check out the bulletin and uh, pray the examine. Um, one other thing that uh, the supernatural gift of the Holy Spirit gives us is the, able, the ability to discern uh, proper devotion and uh, a false devotion. Uh, one example would be like red flags that would go up if you would listen to any of the preachers of the prosperity gospel. You would know that those preachings are, are not in line with our Catholic faith, are not in line with um, the Christian values of the gospel. So that, thank God, is another uh, gift that we have with the gift of knowledge. So that's... Uh, it's very kind of branches out a lot, our gift of knowledge. Um, and I think that's about it. So uh, the intentions that I am praying this novena for, um, I'm including everybody's intentions that they've sent me. Um, and I'm also praying, of course, for the end of the uh, coronavirus pandemic. So let us begin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Nope. Day five. Gifted to service and build up of others. Come, O blessed spirit of knowledge, and grant that I may perceive the will of the Father. Father, through your spirit, you invite us to participate in the fullness of creation. Help me to see that all gifts from you and intended for your glory. For there are many gifts, many different gifts, but always the same spirit, many ways of serving, but always the same Lord. Amen. And now we are going to continue with the Our Father, the Hail Mary, the Glory Be, the Act of Consecration, and the Prayer for the Seven Gifts. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation and deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And now an act of consecration to the Holy Spirit. On my knees, before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body, to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness. Holding the pierced feet of Jesus, and looking at his five wounds, and trusting in his precious blood, and adoring his open side and stricken heart, I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, so to keep me in your grace, that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, Speak, Lord for your servant is listening. And now the prayer for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. Christ Jesus, before ascending into heaven, you promised to send the Holy Spirit to your apostles and disciples. Grant that the same Spirit may perfect in our lives the work of your grace and love. Grant us the spirit of wonder and awe that we may be filled with a loving reverence toward you. The spirit of reverence, that we may find peace and fulfillment in the, spirit, the service of God while serving others. The spirit of courage, that we may bear our sins with you and, with courage, overcome the obstacles that interfere with our salvation. The spirit of knowledge, that we may know you and know ourselves and grow in holiness the spirit of understanding, to enlighten our minds with the light of your truth, the spirit of right judgment, that we may choose the surest way of doing your will, seeking first the kingdom. Grant us the spirit of wisdom, that we may aspire to the things that last forever. Teach us to be your faithful disciples and animate us in every way with your spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, thank you again for uh, praying with us, the Novena to the Holy Spirit, as we are getting ready for Pentecost. Um, and as you know, these videos will be up daily on our YouTube channel. And um, also, our YouTube channel is where we live stream our Masses coming up this Saturday at 4.30. Uh, we are going to be doing a live stream of the extended vigil for Pentecost. So um, that is sure to be uh, uh, hopefully a, a very, very nice Mass. And uh, I invite you all to come. And then we're also going to have our regular 10.30 Mass on Sunday. It's 10.30 in the morning. So that is about it. Um, again, thank you for joining me. And Stay safe and God bless.